Hi everyone, welcome back again. So today we're going to get this drum fitted in inside this room here. It's going to be a bit awkward. I've started a bit late, so it's going to be a long day, I think, today. There's bits of bob I've got to do. I've probably got to dig some of the side of the wall out as well, where the edging curves and stuff are, which I'll show you in a bit when you open it up and get it in there. But I'll turn you around now and I'll show you the drum again, what fit in there and what we're taking out. And this is the bio system and the Solon 25, which will be going in today. Well, I'm starting it today, so it needs finishing so we can get the system up and running for these in here. But since these have been here, these have grown already. Obviously, got the big space being fed, no competition with food and stuff. Well, they were in there, but it's starting to grow in here already. That's it, man. So it stands about 17 degrees, I think, now the water is. Absolutely putting the size in already again. So I won't measure these to next season again now for the winter and see how much we can get up for the winter. So I'm not putting a heat on this just yet. We'll see how we go, but we'll keep it above 12 degrees for the winter. So we're going to partition all this off across here in the future. So saying this is the Solon 25. This will be going in today. And spanking new drum. And the massive, massive bio system. So the new one in there is only 100 litres, 150 litres, which we've got in the other bio, the Profi drum. But this one takes up to 400 litres. Absolutely crazy. So that'll be enough to get a lot more fish in there, which uh, I want to achieve. Right, let's go in here. I'll show you this in a minute. I've got to take all this out here today, again. Take the window out, take all the wall out, take a list down, and all sorts there, which is going to be a mild to do, but it needs doing. This is the Combi Profi 30. Profi Jump Combi 30. But as you see, there's not enough bio system in here. So some of the 50 litres is probably too much. Well, it probably might be just over the litres, it's shoved in the corner with the Draco drum, so it's not square at the bottom, it's like a round barrel. So it should be a lot better turning over underneath here as well. The bio is underneath there, at the back. So we'll get all three, but I mean, I think I put too much meat in there. But for a normal size pond, for this pond, my pond is absolutely perfect, but I'm putting a lot more fish inside there, so I need more bio system, so we have to go for that massive Draco. But so in the Draco now, we've come around about here. Loads of wires and everything, so you see around here. Getting these out today. I'm gonna have to redo this section here as well. Don't know what I'm doing exactly yet. And see the panel at the bottom, the drum, will they have to go tight against here somewhere because there'll be enough room to 740, which is about here. So it's really, really tight to get past. Because I'm just about to get past the end now. You can see there, well, there's plenty of space still. But once that's up here, I'm touching my gut. So I do want to get to that tank. That's a little no quarantine tank and that needs doing, which I will do eventually. I'll do that over winter time. Not in a major rush, got enough tanks where the fish are now. But this is coming out today. Take it out, shutting it down, get it outside there, give it a good clean nothing first. Let's get it out, get this wall out, get it out, and get this one in here. Just drained it all out now, just pumped fed it straight through back into the main pond. I'll just turn the valve off here. So this now is more or less empty. There's a bit in there. So open the bottom drain, which empties this section here. That's gone. But now, I'm going to take this cap off here and make a bit of a mess. It's going to get a bit wet now. It's not a load in here. See, so it's gone right down, pumps all back in. But let's take it off now, into the rest of it. Not bad at all that, so. A bit of water in here, not fussed about that. And then start disconnecting this lot, get it all out, turn the pump off there, that's off in this section, and take it outside, keep a good jet wash down, and clean up. And then I'm definitely taking this wall down, we will catch in a bit. Took the wall out, took the combi drum out, as you can see the difference in the size of the bio to that. Massive difference, so I'm gonna get a lot more fish in here. So now, plenty of bio in there, which will be. So I'm sure it's about under the 50 litres in there. So I might put a bit too much in that. On the 50 and set, I can't remember, but I'll find out when I get a meter out of there, count it up, and put it into that one. I'm not gonna do it here, I'm gonna do it in there, because it's gonna be quite heavy to carry it across, because that was heavy enough for that one. So it's a massive, massive bio. So it's half a ton of water that holds there. Absolute huge. You see the difference in them? So the drum system, so the drum's probably maybe a touch smaller than this one. Let's put it on wider lens so you can see them both together in comparison. 
It's a Plofi from the Draco. I'm saying the motor's a lot smaller than these compared to theirs, a lot cheaper. You say if that went, the big motor in there probably cost you three or four times the price. I'm not sure how much it'll be. I'm saying they are massive motors on these compared to that little one there. I'm not saying the drum size, the difference, not major, big difference to me. So I'm happy with that, but saying that is the main thing. I want a massive bio. As you can see, a difference there. Absolute huge. Right, let's go in here. So I've got a mess around here now. These slabs, uh, they will go flat on the floor now. So I'm take the blocks away. So it's going a bit more down, this drum is, because it's a bit more taller. Which you can see, that one there is taller than that one. So the bio and everything sits about there. So we'll be dropping down onto the floor there. But there's quite a bit of work to do around here now. So I'm going to take these out as well. These here so we can get it tight up against here. Maybe against there. Maybe even cutting that bit. I don't know what I can do with it. I'm trying to leave enough space. So I'm getting down here as I say saying earlier on. But a bit of pipe work to do. Get down here today. Drop them down. Let me get back to you. I'm going to get this in here. So we just took the gravel boards out from down the side. But across here stuff and crap and everything falling down. But what I'm going to do now, I'm going to dig this soil here, get there, put in some buckets, get rid of the crap, I'm going to cut this as well. This 3 by 2 so the bio system and push right back against the wall, give you more space down here. So got the flags and everything, I'm going to put on the floor in a minute. So I'll dig all this crap out here, get rid of all that, and work it out. I'll get back to you later on. And the slabs and that are in. Just took the free bitter off the wall, just cut it down there, and took off the bottom, knocked all the slab where the sleeper pond sitting outside. That's the slab outside, just knocked all the edges off all around, got them off. That's a bit of crap, got to get it up now. Put the free slabs down, I've had to put them this way, the slabs this time, so the free foot this way, because the bio drum is a lot, lot bigger. So the new one was only 600, this is 740 wide, it's about here somewhere. So now, I can get these in. We've still got a little mascot, uh, Hank with us as well. You never leaves me alone, do you mate? He's a good boy. Right, I'm gonna bring this drum in now, put it in position, let's move Hank out of the way, have a quick look at it, work out exactly what I'm doing with all the pipe work and stuff. But saying now, it'll push nice and tight against that wall, leave me a bit more room here. Makes sense? Let's get this in here, once we do it out of the way. We've got this in here now, got uh, time to put the jigsaw together. So the main thing is this bottom drain going across in here. But I've got to cut the side of this. I don't 100% know how I'm going to do it yet, but I'm going to work it out onto there, but I don't know yet. We'll work that out in a minute. I'm saying this way it's going to be joined together. Two rubber boots, which you got there. You've just got Hank going mad. He was just after me pipes on top of there now. about to pick him up because he's uh, starting to chew him up. So I have to find his toy, give him his toy so he can uh, go mad with that now. Mad dog he is. I said he's trying to chew me pipes for a minute ago. I've got to use them myself here, but he will hold them in a minute if he carries on. Look, want some now? Not a chance he's having them. Right, I'm going to get cracked on with this. I'm going to work all the pipe work out. If you start from the main drain first, put it in there. And later on, come down here. See, it's a lot better now. It's pushed up against here because I still get past. So the drum is a lot lower. You're not wasting all this with the bio is as well. So you've got a bit more space around here now. It's a lot better. So it does look a bit smaller, but it's not. That is a lot smaller than this one. 150 litres max K1. And 400 litres in there. I'm going to work it all out now. Get a list done. I'll get back to you in a bit. And I've got some idea how I'm doing it. So it's starting to go dark now. So we've just uh, done this in time, I think. So the pipe work's all done now. And the bottom drain in a crappy place where it's coming through there. That's where it comes up, because there was the nexus here before. So eventually we'll do the pond again, I will do it all again, and obviously put it over there somewhere where it's coming up, but that'll be a year or two away before we do the main pond again. But saying, that's where it comes up now. It comes up there, straight into the drum. We've got a purge valve as well, which is going to put an hole through the wall here. So just been topping the pond up as well, the big blue, so when it fill us up in a minute, it'll really flush through. I'm saying uh, that's where it's coming in, into there. That's your outlet for your crap. Cap on now. Both the rubber boots inside there. Coming across here, I've got a 30,000 
Aquaforte pump as well. So like, this shed has been there for years, that one. So I used to close a lot of ponds down that years ago. And I saved that one there, so I'm hoping it works. So I've not tried it yet. It's been a long time, a couple of years when I got that one. They're saying that's in now. I'm going to make a mess of the glue earlier on. But I've used a lot of old fittings as well. All down here. That's why it's got to straighten that on there. So that's what it was before. It's a mess around to that and cut it into there. So there's an old valve as well. That's nice tight on that joint. Used up. And that's where the nexus is going. I've left that in there now because it's awkward to get it out. But that'll be raised up later on for that pond in there. So it's a nice snug fit. The pipes will be coming this way. Coming up into there. So we're probably a pump. Well, probably a pump. It's the mains pump in there, so it's uh, not gravity fed this one, it's a pump fed one, so forget about that. Right, so we're we'll coming out here into the 30,000 pump, coming up, coming across, into there, into the UV, so now CDOD's got a lot of these in, so just put one of them in there, so I thought the best place to put it, just put it there, see the water running through, don't need it there, but it's there, so I might as well use it, so it's coming up, back into there, and still in the old system, I thought about to mess around with this, but because this is lower now, so in the bio system now is absolutely huge. So they don't waste anything in this, it's all getting used. So it's a 740 wide, so still enough space to come through here. Plenty of space to get in there. Probably works out more now because I really took it to there. So in the old drum is about here somewhere. So it's touching there, slabs on the floor, you see, it's about there. So I've gained another 30 mil or so, probably there. It's gone all the way over there, so I kind of fall out at all. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to open this bottom valve. Let's get the pond filled up. You soon see if there's any leaks. It's the first test, not put anything in yet. You soon see if it leaks down here. And what we've done down here as well, so let's fill up a second. What we've done as well, uh, Tony, there's a black valve on there, but what I've done now, I found some old piece of this, put on there. Uh, like you put the UVs, a couple of, put it on there, and put a normal inch and a half valve, what I've, an old one that I've used up, again to use on there, it's that black valve, just a little valve there, so I thought, right, might as well do it across here, drain it off in the future. I can flush that bottom of here now again, so I'll get rid of any crap what. Sludges up on that, but I'm going to turn it on in a minute as it's filling up. It's saying it's 500 litres of water in here, so it's going to take quite a bit to fill up. Well, that's looking mint now. We're so getting there. Still got to do the air and stuff to it, but I thought I'd best do a video now before it gets too dark. It's starting to slow down now. It's in the pond outside. It's dropped a good three inches down now so there's a lot of water come out of that because that water I've topped it up earlier on with the, with the big blue because I was losing a bit of water earlier on topped it right up to there so it's dropped three inches there's a lot of water in there I'm just saying we still need a lot more water in it's coming up now so we're not far away so I'm going to top this water back up now put the big blue back on so I need to sort all these out at a later date as well let's get the big blue back on now get it turned on Get that filled up. We should get back to you later on when the big switch on is. Catching a bit. So we have got a bit of a leak. You see the two air valves there. Obviously it's sucking back up and coming in there. So I need to get these air valves in here. Also can't keep filling. But turn the valve off for now. Gonna see what rubber connections I've got for this. Get this on and then we should get turned on. So then what I've done for now, just cobbled it up for tonight. I'm going to order some bits and pieces for it. So it's 20 mil the pipe is, that comes in. So it's 20 mil the air pipe. So I'm going to get some connections. We have got a, a 200 air pump running in there at the minute, just reduced down. There's a lot of air there at the minute now, so we do not need that much in there. Obviously what I'll probably do is tee this off in sections and stuff. So I've got to do all sorts tonight, I've got to do wiring, got to put the box and everything on. So what I'll do now, actually, I'm going to turn this on now to see how it works. Is that on? And there we go. It's running through nicely. I've got any leaks and that, so what I'll do in a minute, get some light down here. It's going to dark out there now. It's a lot dark when you look over there, it's got the lights on. 
but we're definitely running free. How was that? Crystal clear. Right, I'll get back to you in a bit. Get some media in here. We're way nicer now. So get a bit of media in here, get out of there. You're gonna see how much that 150 litres was in there. It fills this up in here. We'll definitely need some more media. I've got a load in the backyard. I PP'd it a couple of years ago, but now I'm gonna PP it again and get it in there. But let's get all these electric sorted out as well. It's a bit of a mess everywhere. Tied up on here. Get the Draco drum up here and connect the wall up to that. We'll catch in a bit. So we just emptied the bio drum out again now into the pond. So I'm gonna work out how much media we can get in here now. Well, I haven't got all the media ready yet. I've got some more. I've got a PP and sort out. But I'm gonna get the media out of the Profi drum. You see the size of that now. And then, Everything's everywhere. I've got to sort all these bits and crap in for that as well this afternoon. Well, tonight sometime. But so I've got a litre jug. And get a litre at a time out of here. Work it all out and see how much. I think it's 150 litres in this one I worked out last time. So it's quite a lot on it. We're saying don't go right down to the bottom even. There's a big thing at the bottom there, but we'll show you in a bit how far it goes down. I'm saying it works out, so it's probably about two inches under the box here where the pump and stuff is. So it does go underneath there, to about here anyway. So I'm going to work this out now, 150 litres, get in the tub, get a bucket, chuck it on that one there, and I'll get back to you in a bit. Just done 10 litres, and it's filled the bucket up to there. So I'm going to put all that in now, see how much 10 litres is. Let's pause you this bit while I'm getting over it. Right, let's chuck this in here. 10 litres in there. And I think we're definitely got a lot of in there, so I'll get back to you. Let me get this in, I'll see you in a bit. So I'm almost empty in here, just a couple of bits down there to get out of there. They're saying it was 140 litres just over in the buckets, but I mean, there was 150 litres, got to have been. Because I was getting a little bit more than a litre in every tub. So saying that's where it's come to in there. As you've seen a minute ago in the other one, come so far up, but this one has only come to there. And don't forget this is a barrel shape to the bottom. You can see it. So it's barrel shaped, so it's not even flat there. So that is under the 50 litres in there. So I can't see why not. You can't get minimum 300 litres in these. So they say it's a 400 litres. Well, we've got a 200 air pump, so I can't see why I can't get 400 litres in this. But you see how we go. I get that filled up now. So I'm turn it on. Just turn this valve on. Fill up in here. Very nicely. Nice there again. I'm going to put this air on now. Like this one. Nope, can't really watch your nail on There you go. Seems to start to fill it now a bit more. We'll find out in a minute. And bubbles away. The 200 litre one is actually smashing it is. I'm saying we definitely get a lot more in there now. So it's like something just as what we do again tomorrow for you so you can see in the daylight but that is absolutely bang on for me now. So me and the missus just stood here just getting all these bio chips out of here reason why so we just all come inside here you can see down here and they do fit through there because that fin it's only a couple mil thick you see so I don't want them catching through there so I don't want them going through there and I don't want them going through the bottom bit here and getting to the pump and stuff in there so they end up clogging the pump and that up so that pump is doing the job and water's everywhere because they messed around earlier on again so this is nice and quiet, this drum. Obviously it's not pump, it's on the mains, and that is plenty there. It's getting all the crap and everything off. And it's obviously done every 13 minutes, so I've just pressed it now. It's the only bit of crap. A little bit of thrown down. Nice good tilt on it. Straight down the drain there. Loving it. I'm saying these bio chips, definitely wouldn't advise put them in there. I'm saying they're the other fire that used to have them years ago, I mean Nexus a long time ago. So you still keep putting them through. 
I said I can't see any more in there now. I'll keep checking. Let's put this air on. Wet hands. Don't touch plugs with wet hands. Because I need, still need to tidy a lot of this crap as well around here. So that is smashing the air for there. It's definitely too much air. So I can get a smaller pump. So it's the Charles Austin one. It's a massive 200 one, so there's miles too much air in there. It's absolutely smashing it. That there, that's nothing. That's all in there. Loads of gap. So I took probably 10 litres out in that bucket. Up there. So there's 140 litres of K1 and Helix and stuff in here. So I'm going to get a minimum of 150 litres in here, maybe more. See what we've got outside. I'll check tomorrow. I'm saying that'll be it for tonight. So we've had enough tonight, so I'll put all that back tomorrow. Right, back in for work next day, next evening. It's in a crappy dark nights are starting to come in again now but I'm gonna sort this out tonight anyway don't matter if it's dark or whatever I've got a floodlight up there turn that on get everything back to normal because everything is upside down pipe work everything everywhere drum still need to sort this one out so they will be doing this probably tomorrow night now so I'll concentrate get that back to normal up there sort the wires out and everything but just a good clean down good wipe out in places you say the proper drum not a thing up with this drum at all brilliant drum but 150 litres of bio in there the K1 is just too much for that one air storm. It's only a 30 litre pump anyway. It's only a small pump that's in here. So no wonder it's not enough. So if you upgraded that to a 50 maybe, proper would have done it in there. But I need more bio, as I keep saying earlier on, because it's 150 litres, it's nowhere near enough because I do want to get a lot more fish in there. So in this drum, absolutely pristine condition, which is all cleaned up, like a brand new again. I'll be up for sale soon, but this one in here now. It's the top way of coming in. I'm just turn this off at the bottom. One, two, three, three. There's a vial mixing away in there. It's really on it for you. Definitely going to get a smaller pump in here as well. Because that 200 is a bit too much. I'll just turn it off. There you go. A bit quieter. But 150 litres. Well, 140 litres in there now because it did take 10 litres the this out yesterday. You can see 150 litres goes nowhere in there. So I'll probably get three times as much of that in there. Well, another two times as much we'll put in, so I'll put gold 350, 400, so I won't overstock it, but we'll see. But that drum is absolutely running. Bang on. So we've got Hank outside again, playing with his toy, doing crackers again. He's got old pipes to play with tonight, so he'll be alright. Well, yeah, I'll just put it down there, but he's not seen them, he's left them alone. He one dropped on the floor yesterday, he wanted it. But he's mad with his toy tonight, leave him to it. We're saying this pipe work here now. At the bottom is a lot better than what it was before. Still needs a bit of doing to it, obviously. Them valves absolutely crap, them ones there. It's always leaking, water comes out. Let's say we've got two new valves on there. We've got this one here, the purge valve, which will go straight outside. Cut an hole for the board, straight out there, and shove it through. Then we've got the other one going straight in there. Let's say I do need to put some more blocks or something on the day there. I'm going to do that tonight, make it all strengthened up, make it a lot better. Sort the airline bottom drain out as well. I'm not fussed about that, because obviously we don't need that on. But I think the pump for the 30,000 is on I think 60%. So you can see it really gushing through there now, coming through. But it's a lot quieter, these Draco drums are. A lot quieter. Obviously, the pressure of the water is doing its job. I think you can hear me nice and clear over the other one. The pump going now would be absolutely mad. And the pond is not too bad at all, it's quite clear. Any bits coming through there. You can see the back of the drum getting cleaned off. There's the front of the drum. You see these drac holes, absolutely built, bang on, cannot fault them at all. So you've got a new float switch as well on there, it's designed. So anything goes wrong in the motor, nice, easy to change across there. So you do need to do the air and stuff down there. I think it's had a new upgrade on that as well. Saying I cannot fault these drums at all. Cracking bit of kit. Well tough with that. So the massive bales I showed you a minute ago. Absolutely huge. What more can I say? That there. Out of price. Probably to the trophy. A lot more bio. Does me for my main pond. So the main pond now is about an inch lower than it was before. So it was about there. 
So now I'll have to stop these splashing over as well. I'm sick of all getting over there, cleaning all the time, but they're happy in there. But now I can get a lot more fish in here as well. So you've got a lot more bio to go in. I'm going to start PP in some of the K1 I've got up there as well. I'll chuck that in a barrel tonight, PP at all. So I was PP'd a couple of years ago, but I'm going to chuck it in again and get in here the next couple of days. But now I can get more fish in there. So I'm well chuffed out, the Draco is in. So the massive bio system as well, saying so 400 litres in there to 150 litres is mad, mad, crazy. But saying now I can get more fish in there, which will be another eight to 10 fish out of that pond in there, one of the tanks. We'll be going there next week, well, this weekend hopefully, see what happens. But saying the build of these, the quality of these is absolutely bang on. So they have a few upgrades on them. I think the float switch, that's a different upgrade to one in there. Well, it's different as well. Or oh, the switchboard as well. It's got a separate thing for a wash override as well, so you can do it every 45 minutes to 99 minutes as well to show you a picture of it, which I've got up here now. So there's a picture of it there, so 45 minutes to 99 minutes as well. So it's a little touch to it. So the drum itself, the bio, everything, build quality is bang on. Cannot fault for Draco at all. So it's half the price to the combi drum. So makes sense with that. British made as well. Cannot fault them. So they did have it in page as well just want a bit of change because obviously using back that's what would be odd and asked Tony to do it with me and beige which is a nice little touch I do like it so the the black it stands out a lot more than the black it's weird I think the black is stand out but the beige stands out a lot more in here doesn't look as big in here for some reason as well because like cut the wall back and gone over there as well but really chuffed with that but that'll be it for this one Draco drum is in and I uh, cannot fault it one bit at all so I will update you next week or so I was still going in there and there, but Draco drum, cannot fault it at all. So now be it for this one. Don't mind subscribing to us, and uh, hopefully we shall see you on the next one.